Hi friends. This presentation contains information on Squamous cell carcinoma of skin. What is squamous cell carcinoma, SCC, of skin? SCC is a malignant tumor of keratinizing cells of the epidermis or its appendages. It arises from the stratum germinatum of the epidermis. Some terminologies related to SCC. Chimney sweeps cancer. The soot is one of the most important hydrocarbons responsible for squamous cell carcinoma of the scrotum in chimney sweeps. It is also seen in people who work in tar. Kangri cancer. Kangri is an earthenware filled with burning charcoal. The Kashmiris keep the Kangri on their abdomen to keep themselves warm. The patient will develop squamous cell carcinoma of the abdominal wall. Con cancer. This is a squamous cell carcinoma developing in the buttocks, back, heels, and elbows. This is seen in Tibetans who sleep on the oven bed. Countryman's lip. This is nothing but SCC of the lower lip seen in farmers as a result of sun exposure. What are the causes or risk factors for squamous cell carcinoma? SCC is the second most common form of skin cancer. It is four times less common than BCC and affects the elderly. It is strongly related to cumulative sun exposure and damage. The time taken to develop an SCC after radiation exposure is proportional to the wavelength of the radiation. It is twice as common in men and in white-skinned individuals living nearer the equator. SCC is also associated with chronic inflammation, chronic sinus tracts, pre-existing scars, osteomyelitis, burns, vaccination points, and immunosuppression, organ transplant recipients. When an SCC appears in a scar it is known as a margillin's ulcer. SCC is also caused by chemical carcinogens, arsenicals, tar, and infection with human papillomavirus 5 and 16. There is also evidence that current and previous tobacco use doubles the relative risk of SCC. Clinical Appearance The appearance of SCC may vary from smooth nodular, varicose, papillomatous to ulcerating lesions. However, all variants will eventually ulcerate as they grow. The ulcers have a characteristic everted edge and are surrounded by inflamed, indurated skin. The differential diagnosis of an SCC are Actinic keratoses BCC Keratoacanthoma Pyoderma gangrenosum and warts. Microscopic examination. Characteristic irregular masses of squamous epithelium are noted to proliferate and invade the dermis from the germinal layer. This tumor stains positive for cytokeratins 1 and 10. SCC can be histologically graded according to Broder's histological grading. This system describes the proportion of the differentiated cells, the ratio of pleomorphic and anaplastic cells, normal cells. The histopathology report on an SCC should include information on the pathological pattern, for example adenoid, the cellular morphology, for example spindle, the Broder's grade, the depth of invasion, the presence of any perineural or vascular invasion and the deep and peripheral margin clearance. This table describes TNM classification and staging of SCC of skin. Size is T1 when less than 2 cm. T2 when size is 2 to 5 cm. T3 when greater than 5 cm and T4 when there is muscle or bony invasion. Nodes. N0 when no regional nodes are involved and N1 when regional nodes are involved. M0 when there is no metastasis and M1 when there is a distant metastasis. Grade 1 is low-grade cancer. Grade 2 is moderately differentiated cancer and Grade 3 is high-grade or highly anaplastic cancer. Stage 1 is T1N0M0. 
Stage 2 is T2 or T3 and 0 M0. Stage 3 is T4 and 0 M0 and any T, N1, M0. Stage 4 is any T with any N and M1. Prognosis There are several independent prognostic variables for SCC. 1. Invasion A depth, the deeper the lesion, the worse the prognosis. For SCC less than 2 mm, metastasis is highly unlikely, whereas if greater than 6 mm, 15% of SCCs will have metastasis. B. Surface size, lesions greater than 2 cm have a worse prognosis than smaller ones. 2. Histological grade, the higher the Broder's grade, the worse the prognosis. 3. Site SCCs on the lips and ears have higher local recurrence rates than lesions elsewhere and tumors at the extremities fare worse than those on the trunk. For etiology, SCCs that arise in burn scars, osteomyelitis skin sinuses, chronic ulcers, and areas of skin that have been irradiated have a higher metastatic potential. 5. Immunosuppression SCC will invade further in those with impaired immune response. 6. Tumors with perineural involvement have a worse prognosis and require a wider than usual clearance. The treatment options are 1. Surgical excision 2. Destructive therapy 3. Radiotherapy Surgery Treatment of choice is wide excision with 2 cm clearance and split skin grafting of the raw area. Recommended excision margin. For lesions less than 2 cm diameter, 4 mm margin is adequate. For larger lesions, 1 cm margin is recommended. For lesions larger than 3 cm, more than 2 cm margin may be required. Management of the enlarged inguinal nodes. Give a course of antibiotics. See whether the nodes are subsiding or not. If the nodes are remaining the same after three weeks, FNAC of the node is done. If the FNAC of the node is positive for metastasis, an inguinal block dissection is carried out. Destructive techniques in the treatments of SCC includes cryosurgery and electrodesiccation with curatage. They are best reserved for very small superficial lesions in non critical areas. The local failure rate is high. They do not produce surgical specimen for histological examination and margin analysis. It results in poor scars. Radiotherapy Radiotherapy has been shown to cure 90% case of SCC. It is recommended for the following situations. Debilitated patients Poor surgical risk candidates Those who refuse surgery Disadvantage of radiotherapy Unpleasant side effects Protracted treatment Use of adjuvant treatment radiotherapy High stage large tumors Recurrent tumors Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for more such videos.